Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate to you how to play Owari according to the Bapa rule. Owari, also known as Wari, is the most popular of the strategy games belonging to the Mankala family of board games. At the beginning of each game, each player has six houses filled with four seats each. Oware is played between two players. Players play in turns, and it is mandatory to make a move. The objective of the Abapa is to capture 25 or more seats. In fact, Abapa is more tactical than Nam Nam. That is why Abapa is used in competitions. With Abapa, a player makes a move by picking all seats in his house and distributing them in a counterclockwise direction. So let's begin. When the last seed being distributed ends in an opponent's house and the number of seeds in that house sum up to two or three, that player captures the seeds. According to the Bapa rule, when a player captures seeds in his opponent's territory, all previous consecutive houses with two or three seeds in that opponent's half are also captured. So watch this. Another rule is this, when distributing a total of 12 or more seeds at a time, the house from which the seeds were picked is not saved, it is skipped.
In Oware, it is not allowed to deprive your opponent of seas. Thus, when your opponent has no seas in any of his houses, you are required to make a move that would distribute at least one seed into your opponent's territory. Now, there are three C's on the board. When it is your turn to play, but none of your moves can distribute C's into your opponent's territory, then all those C's in your territory becomes yours. It is an automatic capture. It is game over. A game is won when one player earns 25 or more C's. Since both players capture 24 C's apiece, it ends in a draw. Now, consider a scenario that demonstrates one important rule in Abapa. In Oware, a score is not allowed if collecting the seeds will leave your opponent without even a single seed in his territory to play. Now, if the next player to move plays from his rightmost house, he will have captured seeds in both houses with nothing left for his opponent to play next. So he will either make that move without capturing any of those seeds, or will have to make a different move. Thanks for watching.